Hey, what is up YouTube? I hope that you guys are having a great day so far. In this video, I'm going to share with you all what I keep in my white coat and just what I take with me to clinic. All right, and for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Will Caruso and I am a current third year medical student. And being a third year medical student, it's really important kind of what we keep inside of our white coat. So for those of you who don't really know what the third year of medical school is like, it's basically we go into clinic and we basically kind of serve the purpose of like a junior doctor in a sense. So the doctors will have us go in and take medical histories, they'll have us do physical exams, and then they'll also ask us questions about how to manage a patient and like what we would do in different situations. So as such, you know, I keep stuff in my white coat that I find to be very, I guess, like practical and useful for um, what I'm supposed to do in clinic. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and see what I actually have in my white coat. All right, so let's go ahead and see what I got in my white coat. If I can get it off. Okay. All righty. So the first thing I will say about my white coat is that it's actually really heavy. Um, kind of forgot how heavy it is, but you know, I got quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, so I guess the first thing I'll just start with is I have, I just want to show off, I have these super cool pens. Um, I got these when I was like in first year of medical school. Um, this one right here is the uh, Teddy Bear Clinic. And it was basically a, a clinic that we did um, after, like after class as first years, we would basically do like teach, uh, teach like young kids in like elementary school a little bit about different aspects um, of medicine. So I got this little uh, pen from that. And then the other pen that I got here is one for my academic house. Let's see if I can show you that right here. This one is basically uh, every student in our school is part of like an academic house and I'm part of the house G. So represent house G. And uh, yeah, so they gave us a pen, you know, when we first start, when we first got our white coats, they gave us a, a little pen so we could, you know, remember um, which house that we're from. All right, so just moving on from that, I guess I should just go ahead and get this out of the way because I know I'm probably gonna get a few questions about that since, hey, isn't your YouTube channel called Med With Will? And yes, it is. And then your next question is gonna be, well, why does it say James on here? So, um, so the reason for that is my first name is actually James and my middle name is Wilson. So um, I get Will from Wilson and that's also why I have only one L in my name is because there's only one L in Wilson. But yeah, so before anyone leaves any comments like, you know, like, hey, I thought your name was Will. Um, it is, but they forced us to put our first name um, on the white coat as opposed to our preferred name. All right, so with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to pocket number one. Uh, I'll just go ahead and start with the upper pocket here. So something cool about this is they did put like, you know, our school's, I guess, like symbol on top of the pocket. Um, but yeah, let's see. So really the only things that I keep in this pocket um, is I have two pins. So these are just pins that I use to write things down during clinic. It's, it's very useful it's in this pocket because I can just pull it out and then you know write down the medical history or something, whatever the patient's telling me, and then I can just put it back in. Um, if I can get it back in. And then there's one more pin in here, but this is a, um, a pin light. So with this, I can uh, you know look at like pupillary constriction, pupillary reflex, and um, you know that I can use that for part of my physical exam. So I also keep that in this upper pocket right here. Okay, now moving down to my um, lower left pocket, I this <laughs> okay. I'm just looking at it right now, and there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, so yeah, I do keep a lot of stuff in this lower left pocket. Uh, so let's just go ahead and go through it. So the first thing I have here, okay, so this is something I need to throw out. This, <laughs> this is a, uh, a patient list from when I was rounding uh, in the hospital. So the preceptors will give us like, you know, a list of patients like, okay, I want you to see a patient in room like, you know, 209, uh, they're complaining of like, you know, altered mental status or whatever, like go see them, write a report on them or something. So um, I would go ahead and fold this up, you know, and is small enough that I can fit inside my pocket, maybe write a few notes on it, and I can just quickly pull it out when I'm rounding in the hospital and just 
kind of see, you know, like, oh, I'm supposed to see this patient and stuff. So, but I'll go ahead and throw this out so I don't get a HIPAA violation. <laughs> um, next in here. Okay, yeah, this is, um, this is pretty, oh gosh, <laughs> these are all tangled up. Uh, this is, this is actually amazing. <laughs> I somehow got these two uh, locked together. Um, okay, wait, there we go. <laughs> all right, uh, so I'll go with the, the blue one first. So this right here is the pocket medicine. And this is just like a, a handy dandy like reference guide that lets you um, look things up really quickly. And you know, so the you know the doctor asks you a question, you know, about liver tests or whatever. I can quickly look that up and you know answer any questions that he has, or I can use this just to make sure that um, you know I know like how we want to take care of the patient. Yeah, that's uh, that's why I keep this here for. And then go ahead and put that over here. And then this right here. This is also use very useful in clinic. Um, so it has on the back like the eye chart so that you can uh, test the patient's visual acuity um, But also it has a bunch of like, you know, like questions and stuff that you can ask patients like your ROS questions uh, Like your review of system questions So, you know, for instance, let's say a patient came in with like a chest complaint and I didn't know exactly What questions to follow up with I could open this up and they'll have the um, the review of system question. They also have a, a bunch of other like, you know, useful information, like common lab values. Um, I mean, here in the front, you can see it like, you know, basic EKG, um, you know, uh, rhythms and stuff. Uh, this is pretty useful for a clinic. Okay, so moving on, let's see what else I have in here. And it looks like I have even more um, potential HIPAA violations. So this is just more <laughs> uh, patient charts. So I'll go ahead and make sure I throw that out. So, and last but not least, I have a, I have a rolled up um, mask in here. That's, I didn't even know I had that in here. <laughs> okay, so that is the big pocket down. There's actually a hidden pocket in here on the inside of the white coat. It's kind of very James Bond-esque. But inside of here, what do I have? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have even more um, patient stuff, but also I have some notes that I took. Um, so yeah, so we will present, you know, these are things that I wrote. So I, I would actually write this stuff out, uh, but it's like basically what I saw on physical exam and, you know, the history and stuff like that. Uh, these are all things that, I'm gonna need to throw out. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do I have inside? Yes, so I just finished my neurology rotation. So inside of the inner pocket, I have a reflex hammer. And um, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool reflex hammer too. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I can go ahead and put a link to that in the description for those of you who want this same reflex hammer. Um, I actually found this one to be pretty useful. Um, it has two different sides uh, to it. So it's like one's a little bit more like uh, I guess fine than this one. This one's a little bit bigger side. So if you're having trouble getting the reflex, you can um, try and get it with like a different side. Also on the bottom here, it has this sharp part here. And that's for like getting the Babinski reflex. Uh, but yeah, so I have that in here because I just finished neurology. And that is it for this pocket. Alrighty, now we're moving on to the right side of my white coat. Um, so there is no upper pocket on the right side, but there is an outer pocket. Let me make sure I hold this up so you all can see. I guess you could probably tell that this is where I keep my stethoscope, and it is. And also, apparently, <laughs> it's where I keep some masks, too. Um, so let me go ahead and pull. The I have my stethoscope with me in my pocket. Uh, I mean, sometimes I'll take my stethoscope and you know, like throw it over my head and stuff like that. Um, but like if I'm just storing my stethoscope, I'll just go ahead and leave it in that pocket right there. Obviously we use this to like, you know, listen to the heart and lungs and stuff. And as you guys probably already saw, I have, uh, multiple different, uh, masks in here. And I think I also have, uh, yeah, a, one of those like surgery type of masks. And this one is one that my school gave me, so 
I am on the Southwest campus for my school, so they gave us this nice mask. Uh, it's one of those ones that you have to kind of tie behind your head, kind of like a surgery style mask. And uh, yeah, so I just keep uh, masks and my stethoscope in this pocket right here. All right, and the last and probably least <laughs> is the right inner pocket. So in this one, I'm just looking in it and it looks like I got more masks in here. Don't ask me why. I'm not a hoarder. I promise I'm not a hoarder. Um, I just have a lot of masks. It is COVID. So, you know, you can never have too many masks, right? <clears throat> I also have, let's see. I have a bunch of gloves in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, <laughs> wow. That's a lot of gloves. Yeah. So I have a lot of gloves. I trying to remember exactly why. Oh yeah. Because when I was in my ob gyn rotation, they didn't have any large sized uh, gloves inside the patient room. So my preceptor was just like, here, take a bunch of gloves and just like shoves it in my pockets. Like here, use this, you know, so we don't have to keep going out and getting you more, uh, more gloves. So yeah, I have a bunch of gloves in here in case like, you know, I need it and there's none that are in my size. But yeah, so that is what I keep in my white coat. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed seeing what I, you know, I guess kind of hoard in my white coat. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys keep inside of your white coat. Are you guys also hoarders? And <laughs> how many masks do you have in your white coat? I'm actually kind of curious. I kind of want to know, am I the only one? Or, you know, are there other people out there kind of like me? But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that smash, uh, hit that smash. Smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe. Um, more videos will be coming out soon and I will catch you guys later.